Welcome in everyone to a new episode here on Frontier Crude Oil Tycoon. As you can see here, we've actually got a few extra things. We added a third lime production to keep up with the rocks that we're producing here as we work this ground and we've increased our loader. We can get 45,000 liters per scoop with this monster, so that helps a lot. Now we're gonna take this setup down to the, an old mine shaft and pick up some iron ore that we've found. So let's get started. My son was actually one, the one that was doing some exploring and discovered all this iron ore. So when he got it and sold it, realized how much he made off of it, I thought, you know what? That's what we're gonna be doing in the next episode. So we want to own all of this over here, so we've got to come up with a lot of money. We have turned on our lime production to be able to sell it direct, so we don't have to sit there and haul it anymore, and we're actually making more money out of it, because it sells for more than what our sell-all station is worth. So that's a big improvement, but we do have to clean a path. There's a lot of dirt on the, the road that it takes to get back to where we're going to be getting this iron ore. So we're going to clean this out. Like I said, this thing will hold Let's see, I'm trying to think how much this trailer will hold. With this new trailer we have, we can hold one million liters. So we'll be able to clean it all out without having to worry. We actually have all this sand here we still need to do, but we hadn't been using this new forge pickup for a while. We got rid of it, so we had to lease it again. But let me get down to the path, which I believe is straight ahead of us here, to be able to get to the iron ore. This is kind of the narrow path. I think we're probably going to lease a uh, truck also to pull this. So I don't want to have to try to maneuver this around with the tractor all the time. So we'll probably get a truck up here once we fill it up, which, you know, with just this dirt, I don't think we're going to fill it. We're only at 25,000 liters. Like I said, it holds a million. So we got a long ways to go with that. But let me get this path all cleaned up, and when I get to the iron ore, I'll come back to you. Well, we got out here to the sawmill. That means we passed where we were supposed to go, so we got a little bit lost. It turns out there was there's not an easy way to get to this iron ore. You see, when we get back to it, there's a bridge overhead, which is an old wooden bridge. It's not going to hold the weight of all this equipment. So we've got to try to sneak in a different way. Try to clean out as much of this dirt as I can on my way back is right up here. We'll be able to see the bridge. Now we've got to just somehow make a path up to it. See, there's the old bridge up there. There we go. Got a little lag there trying to get in the cab. Yeah, there's the bridge. Problem is there's no way to be able to get up on that hill. So let me try to find a new path that'll get us up there. So this is where we're at, and this is where I want to be. There's just no good way. We also have all this rock here, too, we could pick up and take to our uh, lime production. I just don't have a good path. These are, all these hills are too steep. So we're going to have to try to be creative and find a way to get up here. I don't know if we would come from the rock side, but we'd have to buy this land and clear out all this rock. There's an old barn up here. Really, there's no good roads. Let's see where this road takes us. Oh, across that old wooden bridge. Yeah, I don't really want to put a lot of heavy equipment across this bridge. That's probably the only way, because I think this road just probably takes you to the barn. Yep, looks like some hobo living up here in the barn. Let me try to make a path. Well, we got it most of the way full, so we ended up leasing this truck. We're bringing one of our little trailers back in hopes to be able to be able to get all the way back there. Right now, we're running into some trees that are down over the path, and we don't own the land, so it won't let us cut the trees down. So now we're trying to make our own way, and. There's really no way to get that big trailer turned around yet, so we need to clean out a, some more road to try to get that thing turned around, and then hopefully we can get up in there and start grabbing that iron ore. So, we get up here, across the road, 
up this path. Now let's, we got a lot of the dirt here out. But we couldn't get in the way we wanted, so we're going to have to try to get up and cross that bridge. That bridge does not look very safe. I can't find any other way without doing a lot of terraforming, and I really don't want to do that. So, we'll try to not get stuck. And get back there. So, see you back there. Alright, here we are. This is where we're running into our problems. Right here. And there's these trees here that are down that I can't cut. Not much room there with that big tree in the way. And then we have another tree over the path here. If I can just get through there, just a couple more trees here that might be in the way. I might be able to get under that. Then we got this old wooden bridge. I guess there's another tree. Somewhere up here, there's a wooden bridge. And there it is. So if I can just get to here, across this dangerous mess, then we can get to the iron ore. So let me keep trying to work this path and get something back here, some kind of equipment. Either the big trailer or the small trailer. I really don't care at this point as long as we can start picking iron ore. Well, here's the 816,000 liters of dirt we have so far. We've got to be able to make enough money to be able to buy that piece of land just to be able to cut those trees out of our way. It's not going to do us too much good because the land that has the trees in the way is not where the iron ore is. So let's see what we can get out of this. Well, let's see, 126,000. I'm not sure if that's enough to buy that piece of land that we're on or not. Nope, I need 699000 Looks like I'm going to have to do some work around here, these oil wells and try to make enough money to be able to buy it. As I try to find some ways to make money, we're going to start hauling our diesel out. We do have quite a bit of it produced between this one and the medium refinery. The other one's making kerosene, I believe, the small refinery. So we should have plenty of diesel to try to sell. So let me load this all up and then we'll see how much we can make in diesel. Well that got us almost 16,000 liters of diesel. So the Grayson gas station has got the best price for it so that's where we're going to head. That should be able to give us enough to be able to buy that piece of land. Of course now it's getting dark so we don't really want to work after dark. So we'll probably pick that up in the morning. But first we're going to sell this. And we also, I ran out of water in the lime production, so I was able to get some more water into all of those, so they should be producing us money every hour. So I'm sure with that, and then sleeping through the night, we should be able to have enough to be able to buy the piece of land just to cut the trees down, and also buy the ground to be able to start mining and picking our uh, iron ore. Let's see what we can get out of this 16,000 liters. There, 62,000. Eh, not quite as much as I'd like, but you know, that gets us one step closer to having enough. Let me get back and pick up some more of that dirt along the path. This road here is actually a better path to take to be able to get the 53-foot trailers in. So this is the one we're going to clean on our way back to the house. Once we get it all cleaned out, we'll be able to start running the truck this way. Because this goes straight to the main gate. I'd like the shortcut way so we don't have to go through the security checkpoint but to be able to get the 53 footer around I think this is going to be better for us. So I'm going to take this to the house, sell it and then we'll call it a night. Here we go, getting rid of the 500,000 liters that we've accumulated. Let's see what we can get out of it. Well that didn't quite get us to the 100 or 699,000 that we needed but it's Getting us pretty close with the limestone selling at the top of the hour, that'll be enough. So shut this all off. And we will run in and sleep for the night. See you in the morning. Well, there we are. Now we have more than enough. $902,000. I'm sure everybody's out of material. So I'll fill these three back up with rock and then we'll get back and buy that piece of ground. I really don't know what I was thinking, why I didn't just use this trailer to begin with. This is a lot smarter deal than using the big semi with the dolly and all that. 
So I can get this in here. I don't own this land. That's why I can't use it to pick it up yet. So we're going to keep using this forge picker upper until I get to the piece of land that we own. So when I get there, I'll get the other thing started up. But here it is, the moment of truth to see if this will work right. Hey, yes it is. It's picking it all up. Perfect. Well now I'll clean this little... This is a little bit more of a shortcut. We came out down on the bottom layer. We're going to go up this way and hopefully it'll be a little bit easier to get to. Now that we own this land, I'll be able to cut those trees. And then once we get a path made back there, we can get rid of this land and buy the land that has all of our iron ore on. So let me finish clearing this path and I'll see you back there. Here we go, now we've made it. Now I have access to cutting these trees. Let's see if they fall out of our way. Hey, they fall in our way. That's okay. I can get rid of them. I think I can get rid of them. Let's hope I can grab it and pull it. Oh yeah, there we go. That one's gone. This guy out of here. Oh, where'd he go? Oh boy. Drop him, wherever he's going to fall. Hey, he fell right back where he started. Here, there, now he's out of the way. Get up here and cut the rest of these out of the way, and then we'll pick up the rest of this, this dirt. I believe this will be the last one as we spook up some deer. Oh, no, I don't, can't cut this yet because we don't own this. Oh, well, well, let's get the dirt picked up up to this point then. Then we can get rid of this ground. All right, I think this is probably where I should get out and let L Family Gaming Dad take it across the bridge. Yeah, that'd be the smartest thing to do. Alright, let's try it. Just close your eyes and go as fast as it'll go. Which isn't very fast. There. Clear. Alright, now I can sell the one piece of ground and buy this one. There, now that's done. We should be able to cut this tree now. Cut it and get, so get it out of our way. Come on, let me take it. Get off my tractor. We don't want to throw it on the path below us. Eh, it's out of the way. Here we go. Now we finish picking up this and then get rid of this dirt. Come back and start picking up iron ore. Actually, we might have to pick up gravel first, but I don't think I can get through that. Yep, we're going to have to come back and get gravel. I'd like to try to get this dirt out of here, though, so we don't accidentally grab some of it first. See if I can turn the tractor just enough to grab the rest of this. Alright, there. Now it should be gone. Now we'll go sell this and come back and probably clear out a little bit of the gravel, just enough that we can get back to the, what's worth all the money, the iron. Here we are, back at the crude oil production. Let's get rid of all this dirt, then we can go pick up rock, and then we actually just run that right over to our limestone production. We're actually, we ran out of rock over there that we had already scooped up, so we need rock to get it going again. So hopefully this will bring us a good amount of money that we can afford to keep making these runs. Well, 140,000, that's pretty good. Now we can head back and start picking up some rock. All right, hopefully I can do this right and not grab any dirt by mistake. Oh boy. I got dirt in the pickup deal, so I don't want to start pouring it in. Let's see, I'm going to get myself stuck. Maybe if I got rid drop this off here. Drop. Forge pick up off. There. Now maybe I can get this thing up on the rock pile or at least start picking up the rock pile. There he is. Uh, I'm still hitting. Oh there's a tree. A <laughs> little tree right there. Here I think we can get up in it. There. This will be full in no time. See if I can get back to the iron ore. Uh, I'm afraid I'm going to fill up before I get there. Which I guess is a good thing. Need plenty of plenty of rock. Nah, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. 
carefully back this thing out of here. Oh, one more load of this, and we should be able to uh, get all the way back there. Let me run this over to our line production, and then we'll come right back. Here we go, getting our first bit of iron ore. This is like, like a, almost a gold mine, but an iron mine that we found up here. This should make us a lot of money, especially if we actually produce it into some kind of steel beams. That's where we're going to sell it. We're going to sell it at the factory that makes the steel beam. So if we end up wanting to buy it, we can actually make some really good money off of it. If I don't get stuck here. Already got 398,000 liters in it. I can try to start turning this around. Looks like there's not a whole lot here like there is gravel. It's like a lot more gravel here to work with. There's also an iron mine that we could go to and get more if we wanted. Right now we're just going to see how much money we can get out of this. I'd like to get a full load. Let me fill this up and then we'll go sell it at the steel factory. Well, I got most of it. It wasn't quite a million liters like I was hoping. We will take this to the factory and see what we can get out of it. Here we are. Looks like I need to pick up some of this dirt also. This is the iron factory. Let me try to find out where to unload it. And hopefully it gives us good money. I'm, I'm kind of worried that it's not going to take it all though. That it's only going to take part of it, max out, and then we're going to have to find another place to sell the rest. I'm pretty sure they wanted up this ramp. See if I can back it up straight. No, I can't. Hopefully it fits on this ramp horrible if it was too wide. I think it'll make it. There we go. There, perfect. There it is. Hey, it's giving us money. It didn't take very much though, but $296,000 for that little bit. Nice. Now let's see where we can sell the rest of it at. I guess I should have looked at the updated price. The sell everything is actually worth more. So that's where we're going to take the rest of it to. On my drive back, I was sitting there wondering, is this going to give us enough money where we can actually start buying out the big guy? Start taking over his oil empire and make it our own. We need $2 million to get started over there by buying some of his wells. So hopefully, once we get this in here, it'll be enough hit the two million mark. Let's see. There we go. Let's find out what we can get. Well, yeah, that was way more than enough. Over two million by itself. So now we can start buying the big guy out. He's going to be pretty upset with us when we buy the drilling rights away from him to the city. So here we go. Two million dollars. Now it's ours. Now we just got to get all the equipment up here to get it started. But that should do it for this episode here on Frontier. If you enjoyed this episode, please slap that like button. And if you haven't already become a subscriber, we would love to have you as one of our subscribers. So until next time, have a blessed day and bye bye